While fractured prostheses or denture teeth are obvious signs of an appliance that should be overhauled, wear facets on the patient's existing prosthesis resulting from forces related to bruxism, masticatory patterns, and other areas of function can also reveal that the patient would benefit from a monolithic zirconia implant restoration. Note the pronounced wear on the palatal surfaces of the anterior teeth. So long as the overall condition of the existing prosthesis is good and the patient and doctor are happy with its aesthetics, tooth positioning, occlusion, and function, the appliance can be used as a blueprint for the new restoration. In situations where the patient's appliance does not require any design modifications and the original master cast is available, a new restoration can be provided in as few as two appointments. The patient's existing prosthesis is simply removed and sent to the lab to be scanned and copy milled, or used as a reference should a new restorative design be required. When the patient presents with a fractured or otherwise damaged prosthesis, repairs can be made before the fabrication process begins. After attaching the Bruxer full arch implant prosthesis to the implants and sealing the screw access holes, the new restoration provides the same form and function as the appliance to which the patient has become accustomed. Because the new prosthesis is milled from a single block of high strength zirconia, there is a high probability that the patient's new restoration will resist the wear or fractures that compromise the original restoration in the first place. Note the fracture lines on the patient's existing acrylic hybrid denture on the left, which was upgraded to the Bruxer full arch implant prosthesis seen on the right, to minimize the possibility of fracture and future repairs. To present this restorative option to the patient, it is usually explained that because their appliance is having issues with breakage or excessive wear, the most time and cost effective option is conversion to a stronger restoration. Upon learning that they can be transitioned to a new, more durable prosthesis in which the likelihood of fracture and future repairs is small, many patients are eager to make the change. A 45-year-old patient presenting with dentition that had deteriorated beyond the point of conventional restoration and thus required replacement. Notice the numerous missing teeth and significantly carious remaining teeth. The treatment protocol for this type of patient aligns with that of the acrylic hybrid denture. A minimum of four implants are placed following the clinician's surgical protocol of choice for a fixed full arch implant prosthesis, taking care to achieve sufficient anterior-posterior spread. Following completion of the healing phase, final impressions are taken, wax setups are tried in, and a final restoration is produced that adheres precisely to the patient's approved design. Both arches were restored with monolithic zirconia implant restorations, which suited the patient especially well provided the extended length of time he would need this prosthesis. This patient was young and we expect many decades of function from these prostheses. We see an example of a patient who presented with wear facets on his traditional denture signifying prosthetic design considerations that would be difficult to fine tune. It is obvious that this patient is opposing natural dentition and due to the aggressive nature and pattern of the wear facets as well as the condition of the remaining teeth, it is evident that this patient is a Bruxer with parafunctional habit history. The wear facets of their existing appliance can exhibit functional patterns that signify forthcoming difficulties with the restorative design process. The patient's unusual chewing stroke led to aggressive wear on his traditional upper denture as well as the opposing dentition, which were deemed non-restorable. In addition, there is very likely evidence of parafunction. Otherwise, such issues can become evident during the wax setup process or as the patients wear their temporary appliance following implant placement. Following implant placement, temporary appliances were produced. After wearing the immediately loaded temporaries for several weeks, the patient demonstrated chief complaints of biting the lips, tongue, and cheeks. Indeed, having the patient wear a provisional implant prosthesis can generate wear facets that capture the patient's functional needs and habits. Once the necessary adjustments have been made to the provisional and tested out during day-to-day -day function, the lab incorporates the modifications into the digital design, ensuring the final restoration meets the distinct needs of the patient. The treatment protocol in these cases is essentially the same as that employed for a screw-retained hybrid appliance. After placing the implants, 
The provisional stage is essential in that it provides the opportunity to work out any movements, protrusions, and excursions that can be difficult for the patient to replicate chairside. In order to fine-tune the tooth positioning and ensure a prosthetic design that addressed the patient's functional difficulties, a new set of provisionals was produced and worn by the patient until he was satisfied with the prosthetic design. Because the Bruxer Full Arch Implant Prosthesis is an exact replica of the patient and doctor approved provisional, all adjustments, no matter how subtle, made during the provisional stage are reflected in the final restoration. We see that the provisionals were copy milled to produce the final restoration, incorporating the precise tooth positioning, occlusal relationships, and other design characteristics needed to overcome the functional challenges presented by the patient. Despite the restorative challenges presented by patients in these situations, delivery of the final prosthesis is typically uneventful as any functional discrepancies have been accounted for in the digital design from which the restoration is milled. Considering that the Bruxer Full Arch Implant Prosthesis is priced comparably to the Acrylic Resin Hybrid Prosthesis, presenting the more durable option to the patient as the best long-term restoration available will make sense for a majority of indications.